All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here on the Freedom Table, and I've got uh, a couple pistols. Man, we're going to get back into the gun thing <laughs> just real quickly. I had to because I'm going to do a political thing right after this, uh, talking about Ilian Omar and the use of a tragedy. Way to go, Ilian Omar. You're such a great person. In any case, uh, this whole thing is going to showcase this guy right here. This is the Gerson. This is their uh, Regard MC. Uh, why did I buy it? And what I wanted to do was not necessarily do a, a tabletop review on this thing, but I want to tell you uh, how good this thing is compared to the original. This is the M9 Beretta. This is what I carried as a sidearm in the Army, and I absolutely love this pistol. Uh, double action, single action. It's just, it's a great firearm. I've never had any problems with it. Till Valhalla, I know, I know, I know. Okay. So anyway, let's talk about this. Uh, right here, this is a Taurus. This is their PT-92. This is a great firearm as well. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this is the uh, bushing system that they have inside the handguard. If you don't take the handguards off, don't worry about it. The reason that there's a plastic rubber hogue grip, overmoded grip on this, is because when I changed out the handguards, I stripped out the screw uh, inserts in here. I called and asked, see, uh, okay, Taurus, can I get a new set of screws for this thing? They said, sure, and that was five years ago, and I haven't seen it <laughs> yet. But um, pretty neat little deal. The only difference between this, uh, this is a frame-mounted safety system. There is no, well, I guess there is a decocker. Yeah, just like that. And then you've got slide-mounted safety and decocker on the Gerson and the Beretta 9mm. Now... I'm going to tell you something about this guy right here. This thing is incredibly well built. I will tell you that with 100%. It's made in Turkey. Uh, I know people have a problem with that. I don't. Uh, but I will tell you this. The integrity, the smoothness of this firearm. I haven't fired it yet. It's, it's perfectly clean. Uh, it does come with one magazine. I've got the box over here, but nobody really cares about the box. Uh, what's in the damn thing? What's in the box? You got your cleaning brush, a lock, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, I probably paid a little bit more than what I should have with the day's market, but I saw this and I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it because I like the M9 frame, but I also like the fact that it's got a pick rail on it. So you can mount a light on it versus just the old M9 like this one. So instead of, setting, <laughs> instead of spending like $700 and change, I wanted to go ahead and spend $479. This is an absolute wonder of a pistol. Uh... I'm looking for MIM parts, and I don't see any. There's no seams anywhere. Is where you get on this guy right here. These are all molded injection parts. This this thing right here. This just feels like cheap plastic to me. I'm not bashing the Taurus at all because it is a good gun. It's been around forever. Um, let's go ahead and pull this thing apart. The tooling on the slide is impeccable. It really is. I uh, don't know if there's a whole lot of difference between these other than the slides not having the uh, slide mounted safety and decocker on a barrel's doing good. I did change the uh, weight of the spring out to a lighter spring, but you shoot 124 grain in this thing and you shouldn't have any problems at all. We're going to test out the, uh, what do you call it? All right now. Oh, come on, you bastard. What the hell over. What did I do? There we go. We'll go ahead and test the uh, trigger weight on both of these things. I love that. Uh, but I will tell you this. The inner workings of the Gerson and the M9 are absolutely perfect. And we'll go ahead and zero, bring in the uh, camera here in a second. And I'll show it to you. But I want you all to hear this. Listen. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Smooth as silk, man. Let's do that again over here. This is pretty... Well, they're all good. But in any case, let's go ahead and pull this thing apart. And I'll show you this. You can see the interior of it. Let's go ahead and bring the uh, camera zoomed in a little bit. All right, so you guys can see that. Look at that. Very nicely done guide rod on this guy she's metal made of metal oh yeah nice spring there we go 
just just a perfect little pistol uh dirty as i'll get out i probably need to go ahead and run it i wish i had brought the scope down but nobody really cares what the inside of a barrel looks like on a pistol as long as it shoots halfway decent it'll probably shoot a lot better than me but look at the machining inside that slide isn't that beautiful let's take a look at the beretta now the beretta's got a couple rounds through it but not many As you can see, in comparison to the two, very nice. Now I have not tried to interchange the parts on these, but we can certainly do so. Let's go ahead and put the barrel assembly back together. There we go. I don't like that plastic guide rod. I don't like plastic guide rods on anything. That's pretty nice. You do have uh, this matching serial numbers on the barrel right there. That's nice, so you're not going to mix, mix match your barrels. Okay, so now we've got the slides put back together again. Let's do this. This is the Beretta slide, and it would be interesting to see. Uh, well, it's not going back, though. Huh. Yeah. So that's as far back as she's going to slide. We're going to go ahead and pull that off. Let's try the Gerson slide on there. Uh, wrong direction. Knucklehead. Yeah, no. It doesn't allow for this little goober head right here. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so that cut's not in there. Right there. That's on the Gerson. Okay, very cool. Let's do this real quickly. Um, and like I said, we'll go ahead and take this guy out and shoot it. The trigger system, it's just a basic mil spec trigger, nothing big. Huh. Very nice, very crisp, very clean. Hmm. Tell you what, let's go ahead and figure out what the pounds are on this guy. I'm not worried about the double action. Very smooth, very clean. Basically identical. So we got that going for us. So here we go. Three pounds, 2.9 ounces on the Gerson. Try it again. Three pounds, 8.8 .8 ounces. That's real good for a double action. Not bad for a mil spec type trigger. Four pounds. Three pounds, 15 ounces, almost four pounds. Uh, all right, let's pull this guy, see where she's at. <laughs> the old Taurus. And again, I'm not bashing Taurus because I do like that gun. Four pounds, eight ounces. Okay, so let's take a look at this. How far apart are they on the weight? Let's go ahead and level that thing up. Okay. You guys can see that. Here we go. This is the Beretta. One pound, 13.9 ounces. One pound, 15 ounce, 0.1 ounce. Hmm. All right. wonder why. Maybe the addition of the pick rail down here. You've got some, uh, let's see. Not bad, but look at the tops of them. All right, so you got a, just a real regular old pair of rear front, rear sight post. Uh, somebody blacked that out and put the dot in there. I didn't even notice that until now. I did buy this used. And then uh, the front sight post, they're just painted white. So uh, very simple, very easy. Overall, what do I think about this? I like the gun. I think that it's a great value at $479, sub $500 M9. Uh, very good quality. Looks good. I've seen a lot of videos of people shooting this thing. You notice it does have the hand or finger grooves up here in the front. That is a good ergonomic little deal there. Uh, let's see, that's the Beretta. This is the Metgar Gerson. So there you go. All right, well, that's just a comparison between a regular M9 and the Gerson Regard MC. Good looking little pistol.
And I just saw this in my local gun store down there at Point Blank Range. Just want to give a shout out to the guys uh, who were uh, no longer there. Miss you guys. But in any case, um, that's it. I do like it. I like it a lot. I like the decocker up here. As you can see, it's just a little bit more pronounced. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no MIM parts on this thing. It's all milled out. Very neat looking. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go to Boy 32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, see, see, there's the screw that I stripped out in the Taurus. <laughs> it ain't gonna stay in there. I gotta glue it in there or something. So, you know, what's funny is that some people would just wrap this around there and sell that gun. I will never sell this gun just because of that. It's Boy 32 If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who, uh, are there to uh, support our Constitution. And that's enough said. Ilian Omar, you are a piece of trash. It's Boy 32 If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Big shout out to the Patreon guys and girls. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.